In this lesson, we're going to focus our attention again on uh, doing more work with masking and how it can be used to alter and change an image. And so we'll start by uh, working with the image that is in our directory called gojackets.png. And so you should be able to find it here in the working directory of our zip folder. And so first thing that we will want to do is we read in the image and store it. And then now what we want to do is we'll create a mask for our image. And so our mask uh, is going to be based off of denoting uh, the red values that are less than 128 in all of our rows and columns. Our um, green values that are greater than 128 and our blue values that are less than 128. And so we'll, we create a 2D mask and now we'll create a 3D mask based off of our 2D mask. And so we'll apply the logical array that we get to our 3D mask. And so here we'll apply it to our red components and then we'll apply it to our blue components and again to our green components. Alternatively, we can concatenate uh, the mass into one using the, con the cat command and three mass 2D uh, for each one. So now what we want to do is get the appropriate size and color um, for our image. And so we'll get the rows and columns as well as the, the color attributes. And so in this case, what we want to do, do is apply a blue um, coloring to our, to our image. And so for the rows and columns of one, we'll uh, cast it to a, a, a RGB color of zero for red. And then for, for our green, we'll cast it to a color of zero for the value. And then for blue, it's going to be represented at the most as 255. And so now we will take our image and we want to apply uh, it to, we'll create a new image and we'll apply it with the mask. And so the new image mask 3D is going to be blue mask 3D that we have created here. And so applying that, we get our new image that is now going to be represented as a blue background instead of the original green background that we started working with. Now we're also able to apply a mask to our colors as well. And this is taken into consideration knowing uh, the appropriate values that we have. And so what we wanna do is we'll pull again, the row columns and colors. And then what we wanna do is set the values for the, for our RGB components, and we're going to set it to 255 for red and 255 for blue. I mean, 255 for green, zero for blue. And then we'll apply our the opposite of our mask. So instead of it doing the background, it's going to be doing the foreground or the, the text colors. And so now the new image that we created is going to be blue background, but now instead of black letters, we have it in yellow. And so this is another way in which we're able to use masking to change not only the background image, but also the, the text within a image as well. And so now let's also consider if we want to use a mask to assign a different color value to each layer in our in our image. So in order to do this, what we can do is we'll going, we're going to first pull the background. And so we'll assign a color value to each of the mass layers. And then we're going to multiply the mask by our color value. And so for 
the coloring background will have for red, we're gonna apply our mask times zero. And for green, we'll apply the mask times zero. And then for, for our blue component, we'll apply the mask times 255. So it is all blue. And so once we have loaded that in, we get our image that is going to be blue with our black back with our uh, black letters. But now what we want to do is change the color of that text as well as the background. And so now we'll have the text color being 255 red and 255 green and then zero for blue. And so now our image text color is now yellow. And so now we've been able to apply a, a mask at the various layers within our image. We can also consider that we can use another image um, of the same size to assign a new color value to each layer that we have. And so let's consider that we read in our background image called Go Jackets, and we want to load that image. And so Go Jackets, uh, Go Jackets background. And so it is here in our directory, and we've loaded it over here in MATLAB. And so if we have the image in the background, what we can do now is we want to multiply the mass, the mass by the appropriate color value. So if we consider having the mask, and we multiply it by each of the color value. And so we'll have the image background that is going to be represented. Um, we're gonna apply a mask times the double background values for the value of our background image for each of the layers, uh, red, green, and blue. And so now that we've applied it and we create our new image, we have Go Jackets that is transposed onto our GT uh, background image. And so we can also do it with our text value as well. And so if we have our image text for each layer for red, green, and blue, we'll, we'll cast it to uh, appropriate RGB value. And so we'll take the opposite of the mask or the opposite of our 2D mask. And then we're gonna incorporate our appropriate background for each layer for red, green, and blue. And so once we've applied the mask, we're able to get a back black ground, but now for our letters, we've applied our Go Jackets background. So now Go Jackets is highlighted uh, using the background for our GT background image. Additionally, we're also able to utilize a, a 2D mask to work with appropriate corresponding colors for each of our appropriate layers. And so to accomplish this, what we're gonna do is create our appropriate layers for the background. So we'll have our layer for our red, green, and blue components. And then we're gonna have our image background layers as well. And what we want to do is apply our 2D mask to our image for, for each layer of our image background using our original background and 2D mask. We could also do it by concatenating it. And so now we provide it for our image And 
And so now we've been able to cast it using each layer. And we can also concatenate, concatenate it using our image uh, background layer as well. So using that, we get a value of, let's show how both of them would come up. So our initial approach using our background mask is gonna give us a green background with our black, black letters for Go Jackets. And now we've also included a version with our, our, our uh, GT Jackets background where Go Jackets is affixed upon it. And so this is a, another approach for using a 2D mask to index the corresponding colors of each layer. Another method, method that we can also use is just apply a 3D mask to index all layers at once. And so if we create our new image and set it equal to our text, then we have a new image. It's going to be applied to mask 3D as well as we're, it's going to set equal to the background mask 3D. And so now we have image, it's going to show right here. And so that is a, a simplified way to apply our a 3D max mass to all index layers at once. And so with this, we're able to see that there are various ways in which we can apply appropriate uh, mass to our, to our images. We can do it um, by multiplying the mask by a color value. We can do it using a 2D mask to index the corresponding values, or we can use a 3D mask that will enable us to index all layers at once as well. <laughs>